Guys, this is a second exciting video. We are here today to take a look at the Bugs Life character. Now, I didn't even, again, like I said yesterday, I didn't even realise these patch notes were coming out. I was a little bit behind. So it was quite a shock to open it up and see that we have Flick, I think his name was, from Bugs Life. Now, I haven't looked at this character at all, so I'm going to jump in, review his moves, and then give him a bit of a test out and do what I always do, just to kind of get a general vibe for the character. But again, I've never actually touched this character before, so um, or even heard of him. Well, actually, I know what Bugs Life is, but I mean in-game. So I'm excited to jump in and see. So, first of all, what type of character is he? Support. Cool. Okay, so we're not looking for the hugest amount of damage output, but I'm hoping... With all the gadgets that he makes, he should have some really awesome support moves. Let's jump straight into his main special, which already looks incredible. Flick sends a flaming, oh this is going to be good, a flaming bird towards the enemy with the most HP. Scaring all enemies 5 seconds, amazing. The initial target takes fantastic damage. Then that target and all nearby enemies take an additional fantastic damage over seconds. So what we've got here is it's starting to take burn damage which looks really cool, and that's over six seconds. Six seconds is quite a long time in the um, sense of a level of Disney Heroes, guys, because normally you're just smashing through them, so very cool move to start off with. Now we've got overseeing production. Flick uses his grass telescope to study... Cool, we haven't had an enemy to, which does study for a long time. So if you get him and Hector in, they'll be out there with their little scopes doing everyone. Study the two closest enemies for eight seconds. During this time... Those enemies also have their armor reduced by 50%. Now, I wonder if um, his red skill would be every every person with a study has 50% less armor. I don't know, but that's just a guess. Flick encourages his team, removing all slows, that's really good, and applying six axe party. Now, what I would have liked this to say slows and freeze. It would have been awesome to see him use his flame bird to unfreeze everybody or something like that because slows are obviously fantastic if you're going against the likes of like king louis so he's basically like the ultimate banana counter but um you don't see many people use king louis anymore actually which is quite a surprise because he's very overpowered um so everyone affected also gains a shield which is good so he he can work quite well with sisu if you want to form a huge if you had sisu flick um slinky and then you have someone like zeus and bolt in you could just keep those two alive and go mad so that's pretty good slow includes snares as well as reduction in movement and attack speed so yeah snares movement speed and attack speed is what's going to come off unfortunately not freeze a little bit of a disappoint little, little bit disappointed there but oh I, I can i can live with that and then we've got here uh sorry i've done that one yeah so now it's red skill. Is that his red skill? Yeah, red skill. And encouragement. Now heals the target for first and a max HP. Brilliant. So we're going to get so and encouragement here. So everyone affected also gains a shield. So we're going to gain a shield, remove all slows, and heal for 30%. Really good. When Flick uses overseeing production, he now targets all enemies and grants himself and allies armor for the rest of the way. That, that's really good. And overseeing production is his main move. Uh, his um, study move. So that's good because that's going to study all enemies. Cutting all enemies' armor down by 50%. That's pretty mad. When an enemy slow is removed or prevented by flick, all allies gain attack speed for 75% attack speed. That's pretty good. Um, allies can only gain attack speed this way. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So I like him. He doesn't stand out to me that I'm going to quickly or go and upgrade him before anybody else. I personally prefer Anna and I think Anna would make more sense for me to use because I do want to try and form a solid freeze team, um, which I'm going to dabble in a video next week with you there, guys. It's going to take me a while to, to get the characters I want and level them all up, of course. But yeah, that's pretty good. And he seems like a cool character. So let's just take a quick look at his... Oh, he's got a friendship mission with Paul. See what we've got. Skill power to flick and allies. That's cool. Basic damage to flick and allies. Okay, that's one of the best buff um, buffs I've actually ever seen for a um, for a uh, friendship disc. There, flick gain fits and energy when he uses a stack of hardy. 
You can only gain energy this way. Uh, that's okay. It just means you can get a special up a little bit quicker, but obviously upgraded that will probably go to about 300 maybe. But yeah, okay, so that's pretty cool. And then this one here. Enemies lose armor while they're stunned. Don't... That's good actually, because that will further push up his move. Enemies lose basic damage when they're studied. Again, uh, that's okay. When Flick and his allies damage an enemy studied from any source, they gain a shield with HP equal to 10%. So now what you need to know here, guys, is if you have a study team, you want this, this skin, because all it's going to do is give all of your teammates health and everything, so that's pretty cool. Now, for the second segment of the video, guys, I want to jump in and give him a go and um, obviously see if um, he stacks up. Also, guys, just a just a nudge that the prize warder does start tomorrow. So just bear that in. Well, actually, it actually starts tonight. So make sure you um, load the game up tonight to do the prize war, guys. Okay, cool. So let's jump in and give this a quick go now and hope that Flick is actually going to live up to the likes of some of the other big characters, guys. Because I know for a fact that um, Elsa was very good. Oh, they've done a double event just to do the last of the um, challenge as well, guys. So if you have any resets, let's get in and get that done. I'm just going to help the guild out loads here. Here we go. Sorry, I got distracted. Let's get back into this. 37th. Oh, that's mad. I wish we were getting more Triton because I think we're in 5%. Yeah, lovely. Anyway, so let's give him a go. So let's jump back into the good old Hammers team here. And let's, let's fight the one at the bottom again. I know it's quite weak, but I like this one because they get silenced and it gives me a chance to see them without them actually using their special, which normally instantly kills everybody. So let's see what we've got here. Where, where is he? Oh, he just legs it in. Look at the confidence in that man. Corn, 4 million. 1 million. 2 million. 2 million. Okay, so his basic attack's okay. It's certainly not the best I've seen. Um, Anna was doing more damage per hit. Plus, she could hit two people at a time. So, of course, he falls a little bit flat in his basic move there, guys. So, yeah. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Hmm. Maybe he could have shot out a, a couple things. Maybe corn and then something else just to give it a little bit of variation there. But, you know, that's his basic move. So... No, take that out of a pinch of salt, guys. I don't, I'm not going to judge that too much. Now, let's put him against a... Let's put him against a team, which is actually quite difficult. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's not, like, world-ending. So, let's put him against this one. And then I'm going to put um, Susu on. There we go. So, let's see what we've got here, guys. Bring him in. We're doing the corn for a million again there, guys. Corn for a million. I love CC special. I know that's not what we're looking at, but it is pretty good. So he's waved. Here we go, the bird comes in. <laughs> the bird just slowly descended, crashed, and then completely just collapsed at how like dead that move was. Bird? Oh god, that's terrible. Oh, Flick. That looks... That has to be one of the worst looking specials I have ever seen. <laughs> oh, dear. What were they thinking? Let's just rerun this on speed up. Hang on, let's have another look at this. It just comes in and crashes. That is absolutely awful. Oh dear. What were they thinking? You've got these characters like Sisu makes it rain and all these cool sort of splash effects and you've just got a bird with absolutely no effects on it that just goes, touches the floor, then just disappears. It does some good damage. I mean, it killed Pleakley twice. But yeah, bit, bit of a disappointment in my opinion. Not extremely hyped up about that. Um, let's put him against a, um, a King Louis here, guys. 
Oh, oh, oh. his banana. Wait, I looked away. <laughs> I didn't see what happened. I looked away. Let's rerun that. Let's rerun that. So who did that? How did they kill him last time? I looked away. He just King Lou just died immediately. Was it was it an accident or did he somehow pass the banana test? I <laughs> I guess we'll never find out. I was still stunned by his main special, which is absolutely disgusting effects on it. Let's put him against um, Ariel here, guys, and have a look. So he studied her. So he's got the minus 50% armor here, which is lovely. Okay, here we go, guys. Flick's brand new special. Let's have a look. <gasps> uh, that is so, so bad. It just flies in and then disappears. There's no effect. There's nothing special. What a ridiculously awful special. Come on, Pablo. The character looks absolutely fire. And then you go and do as dirty with the special move. It, that's just not right. Just look how stupid that is. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I might upgrade Flick just because of how bad that looks. Anyway, guys, Flick, pretty decent character, actually. Not as good as Anna, not as good as any of the other previous cats we've had, so I'm not going to work on him. But comment down below, let me know if you are, and I'll see you, Legends, in the next one. <laughs>